Hello and good evening. Today is July 2nd, 2022. The temperature outside is 21 degrees Celsius, which is 70 Fahrenheit. Today we are in Angle Inlet, Minnesota. It's an interesting place. It's a good place if you like fishing, not so much if you don't like fishing. What makes Angle Inlet so unique is that in order to get here, you actually have to enter Canada. Uh-huh. It's in the south, it's in the southeastern corner of Manitoba. So to get here, you actually have to enter Canada and follow some really nasty gravel roads and to get here. So I'm going to give you a little tour of this place. It should be a little better than the last tours because it's a little bigger. All right, so I'm parked in a parking lot. I'm right there. First thing, in April and May of this year, Manitoba and Ontario got a crap ton of rain and snow. And rain and snow. We had some really good flooding happening. Angle Inlet was not saved. It got some pretty good flooding as well. Yeah, um, I think those vehicles are write-offs. Something tells me they're toast. And if you look over here, so we're, we're just right over here, a little ways this way, and you have more water over here. I'm trying to wash my footing here because I don't want to step into any of it. Because there is a lot of water. So we're going to head over to the dock. Well, not exactly the dock. We're going to head towards the restaurant. Because it too got some nice amount of water around it. But that's not the reason why we're here. Oh yeah, right over here, once I get a little closer to the road, you'll be able to see it a little better. This is where there's some RV parking, but they're all full, so that's why I'm not in there. Yeah, 25, 30 locations, little play area for kids in the background over there. You probably couldn't see it. Sorry. Right. Yeah, we looked at that. No, we didn't. See, it's a crazy amount of water here. I almost walked into that truck. Wasn't paying attention. So, we're coming up onto the restaurant. The water was so bad, they actually had to build their own little dock to get to the restaurant. They had to put wood down and plank across so you could get to the restaurant. Nutty. Absolutely nutty. I wonder if they have to do this every year. Oh, look at over here. If I had one of these parking spots, I would have been stuck.
sorry about that little delay. Somebody wanted to get pictures, so I let them at it first. But this is why we're here. The northernmost point. Well, the northernmost of the lower 48 states. I wish I could get closer to get a better picture of it, but I have my better camera here with better lenses, so we're going to do that later. That's going to be the thumbnail to this video. Now let's take a little walk over to the dock. I'll meet you there. Okay, there is a family on the dock. I didn't want to get pictures of them, get them in my video, because they might get upset. There you go. Not gonna go swimming in that. Mm -mm. Who knows how much gas and exhaust is in that. But yeah, there you go. Angle inlet. I'll do an outro right at the bus. See you again. Okay, so that's most of uh, angle inlet. There is a little bit more. The dock and everything was over that way. Quite a few miles down this road, there's another section of Angle Inlet that has like a school and all that other stuff. All the good stuff. This is just more, mostly for the uh, touristy kind of thing. So all sorts of plates from here. Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota. For some reason, a lot from Minnesota. Go figure. Whoa, let me get out into the shade. There we go. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Until next time, have a good one.